Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to continue our topic on factors that affect evolution. And in this video, we're going to fa focus on non-random mating factors. In other words, factors that are going to affect evolution that are not randomly occurring, but that are purposefully occurring and shifting populations, more importantly, the alleles of the populations in one direction or another. Let's begin. The first type of non-random mating we're going to talk about is sexual selection, which could kind of fall under the natural selection category. Only in this case, we're going to be looking at what happens when um, a male or female chooses particular traits um, of an organism and favors those traits, even though they may not necessarily be the most favorable in terms of natural selection. So again, one of the mates, and it's typically the female, is going to choose a characteristic that she finds attractive and wants passed on to the next generation over others. And in this case, usually what happens, it's going to lead to what is known as sexual dimorphism. In other words, di means two, morph meaning body or structure. So there is a difference, a striking difference between the male and female of a species. So you can see here in this image, we've got the male peacock and over generations of females choosing males with the longest feathers, with the brightest, most iridescent colors, you get males that put on display like this. But notice the female, the peahen, she is not the colored the same way. She doesn't have the long feathers because it wasn't the males that selected for these traits. It was the females that selected for these traits. The second type of non-random mating is what is known as artificial selection. And in the case of artificial selection, this is where humans have selectively bred organisms to have desirable traits. Whether or not those traits are actually beneficial in nature doesn't matter. We, be we purposely bred organisms to have particular characteristics. So here's an example of artificial selection. We have here Eris the bear dog. And you'll notice that she's got these very large, ridiculously fluffy paws and these long, ridiculously get in all her food, get wet and dirty ears. Now I say this because this was my dog and humans selectively bred Cocker Spaniels to have these characteristics, the long curly hair, the really long ears, and even though in nature this is actually not really favorable because these ears are always getting infected, these paws are always getting um, the hair knotted up and tangled and would put them at a disadvantage, we selected them because look how stinking cute this dog is. Um, and so with artificial selections, humans select the particular traits that we want and we breed the organisms many times, unfortunately, with, um, with inbreeding um, to get these characteristics. So you can kind of tell here her eyes have this funny color to them. That's because of with all the inbreeding that's done with Cocker Spaniels, they tend to have vision problems. And so she's went blind in both her eyes. Um, but this artificial selection is there's something desirable that we wanted and we bred the characteristics to get the desired outcome. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.